Another promising news. Rockstar finally woke up and started to do something with the client of Red Dead Online Standalone Edition. And I must remind you that for almost a half a year they were not doing anything with Red Dead Online Standalone, with Red Dead Redemption 2. They were not testing anything, like nothing. And today it's changed, but I must to clear something out right away. They are not testing updates so far. So like no, it's not an indication of a big update coming. However, it's a pretty interesting and as I've said, pretty promising. So let me go straight to the point. Few hours ago, Ben T, also known as Videotech, posted this. Red Dead Online is seeing some unusual activity movement on SteamDB with the standalone edition after five months of silence. The standalone edition has just added a few unused installation exclusive structures depot. And here we have this screenshot from SteamDB. And then he continues to explain what he thinks is going on. Rockstar could be trying to minimize the installation size for the standalone edition by stripping out the story mode and possibly separating it as a DLC to download when a consumer buys it. Either way, the game isn't dead. There is work going on behind the scenes right now. And that's actually the most important part of today's news. The game isn't dead because Rockstar are doing something. And yeah, it looks like they are trying to separate Red Dead Online standalone, make it smaller, because right now, when you buy in Red Dead Online standalone, you still downloading the same exact client as if you bought Red Dead Redemption 2 story. Test 2 also thinks that the main purpose of what's going on is to separate Red Dead Online standalone from Red Dead Redemption 2 to reduce the size of Red Dead Redemption 2 standalone. Because I mean, a lot of people are not willing to download 123 gigabytes or whatever the size right now is. It's, anyway, it's pretty big. So yeah, I guess they will just remove all this dialogue, cutscenes, different sounds and so on that is not used in Red Dead Online. Anyway, another interesting point of view. Again, test 2 now on the GTA forums. GTA expanded and enhanced release on March 15 is at least a good sign for Red Dead Online community, as I initially thought its release window would be a late March release. With E and E out of the way, we should see QA beta updates occurring as much as GTA 5. The issue with Red Dead Online is a matter of prioritization, unfortunately. The lastest move came out of nowhere and was more of a way to keep up with Rockstar plans with GTA Online standalone. And then he is talking about these changes. If Red Dead Online standalone is split from Red Dead Redemption 2, then it goes suggest we would have an app for Red Dead Online on consoles. Instead of launching Red Dead Redemption 2 and then moving to online, we could just launch direct into online with Red Dead Online standalone, it's a question, because there is a question mark. Much like the case with Call of Duty titles and Warzone. It's interesting, but it also means single player would be completely separated from Red Dead Online. We could receive lots of new updates on Red Dead Online, but single player would be stuck on an older build. Which is not always bad, <laughs> I must interact here, right? Yet, on the other hand, it kinda makes it easier for Rockstar to develop online content and not having to ensure none of new updates break single player. So as you can see, all these predictions are pretty optimistic if we're talking about the future of Red Dead Online. However, we don't know for sure what is going on, we will find out about it like in a few months from now, but what is clear is that Rockstar are doing something, making some work with Red Dead Online, so they not gave up on this game. And that's pretty much all we know for sure, okay? I'm not gonna make a lot of speculations here, but you can, you can go to the comments and please tell me what you're thinking about all the situation, if you see it as a good sign, because I definitely see it as another good sign. First, we had this insane numbers of Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online sales in the last financial quarter and now Rockstar is officially doing something with a client. I mean, yeah, it's not like they announced something officially, but still we know that something is going on. Anyway, not gonna waste your time anymore. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, до свидания.